Alrighty folks, a little bit of an update on the Honda CBR EV. Uh, well, I've gotten through quite a bit past couple of weeks, past couple of days actually. I've seen uh, a lot um, of things going going on. Uh, the first, obviously, we can see here is that the controller is finished. Uh, bench tested and installed and I've also got the motor traction cables done ah, you can see in there try and get a bit of extra light on the subject as I said traction cables um, they're all done there in black conduit just to protect the cable it's all 35 square um, flexible copper cable our controller is installed here got all of our um, signals on this little barrier strip which is quite a handy way of uh, getting uh, kind of hooking up terminals heatsink and hopefully be able to see the fan in there it's underneath the heatsink so that's in. Uh, I've also got a plate in here. So you can see the contactor and the reel pays are starting to take shape. Um, so that's all starting to go in. Had to do a few bits of chopping onto the frame there, just that there was a bar in there that had, had uh, I think, it held the old coils coil packs and over this way um, I've taken out the old uh, see it there I've taken out the old plastic battery tray um, that was in a bad state and it was only suitable for a particular size of a lead acid starting battery anyway so I had these four uh, 16 amp hour headway cells if you are in phosphate uh, left over from the car so I, I got some uh, got some of the normal headway uh, cell blocks and inks from uh, Mans and Ata and I went ahead today and I made some just some simple steel br steel um, bracketry in there just to hold the cells in and the pack is just uh, secured with some good quality cable ties everything's uh, perfectly solid there's no there's no play in it and I've just uh, got the kind of the, kind of, um, the main 12 volt cable here just hooked up and I set up a new earth over here because when I took that battery tray out that was also what held in the air brake um, uh, hydraulic has a power so I just I uh, just uh, uh, built up a new bracket to hold that in there so that also serves as the main earth terminal you see that earth cable there so obviously again there's a few more bits done on the frame now what I'm doing at the minute uh, is I'm changing the headlight bulb. Hoping you see, I've, got, I've just got the um, headlight bulb hanging down there, and I'm changing it uh, for one of these um, LED type headlight bulbs. Now, these are cheap and cheerful eBay Hong Kong job. <coughs> um, this kind of a thing would not be suitable um, for to drive any kind of a vehicle at an height on uh, they just don't produce the same output as a, a normal halogen but for the purposes of a daytime uh, driving height which is what's intended here I think on these on these uh, bikes just by having the headlight on uh, 
I think this will do the job fine because if I turn on the key here uh, we just see that headlight comes on all the, the time so that's quite a lot of power in that so obviously all of our 12 volt uh, systems are being supplied by these cells now so they'll have a separate charger um, I'll just get a Chenic charger install it in here and that'll be the, the 12 volt systems sorted out so obviously I have to reduce the draw on the um, on the uh, on the uh, the normal 12 volt accessories so the first thing is as I say we're going to be changing to this headlight bulb and then we have one of these little guys this is a stop and and uh, and tail LED bulb and I have these in the, the uh, uh, car and they function extremely extremely good and um, they're again these are just a uh, couple of dollars various eBay eBay sellers um, I got these ones from Hong Kong I think um, you find other uh, sellers in different countries selling them and kind of claiming to be something else but they are just in fact the same kind of Chinese kind of a, a setup so I'm going to go ahead now and I'm, I'm going to fit that bulb and we'll turn the thing on and we'll see what actually happens okay so on the old um, headlight job we had a bit of a problem uh, when I first hooked the thing up it just blew the fuse so I had to have a check of it and it seems as if they just commoned uh, the main and uh, dip beam terminals on there and obviously the pin out then from this plug was uh, shorting out the power so what I had to do was just to pull out the little spade terminals out of there and change them and now that, that that's done there we go it's obviously main and dip beam don't really change anything but power consumption should be a lot less so I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there and see what it turns out like okay so I decided to attack the back end and I found this particular vehicle is fitted with two of these stop and tail light bulbs in there two fittings so fortunately I had purchased two of these uh, uh, LED versions but of course they didn't fit uh, it was down to the fact that this ABS here was up too far and it was actually hitting off the frame of the little fitting here so I had to use a precision instrument to uh, slightly alter the shape of the, the bolt holder and as you can see they're now perfectly perfectly happily in there so we just do a quick shot of that turn on our key so that's our parking uh, if I pull the front brake, there we go, brake lights. And if we look at the headlight beam here, you see that it doesn't, it doesn't alter now because we're drawing far less power from our battery. This would be a good idea for any vehicle, car, bike, otherwise. So now the next challenge is down to the fact that because these LED fittings uh, are slightly bigger than the normal filament uh, they're not going to want to fit back back in here so if I try to fit it it's literally there's a micron in it so I'm just going to get a file 
just give that frame there a touch of the foil and hopefully that'll be it. Alright, so that's the tail end back together. Uh, turn our key on. You'll be able to see we have tail lights. I can pull the brake at the same time, but it does actually work. Be able to I really see the glow on the door there too easily, but it's there. So unfortunately I'm I'm not gonna get to test the traction system today, but uh all in. It's a uh, hell of a lot done and kind of made up some time. So hopefully over the next couple of weeks we'll get the traction system tested and uh, start thinking about putting this thing back together I, I again, start getting batteries, um, that's always the fun part and uh, so yeah, that's about it, not done, not um, four bits to do I think, so stay tuned.